MailChimp automated email to new subscribers step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can get started with sending a automatic email to all of your new subscribers. So when I have someone that purchases off of my store or whenever someone signs up for my newsletter on my Shopify store, Wix store, any kind of platform, I want to automatically send them a welcome email. So how can we do that? Well, with MailChimp, it is super simple. So first off, we will begin designing our email and then we will create a automation to automatically send it to all of our new subscribers. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is log on to your MailChimp account. Now, MailChimp is a amazing email marketing platform. It is available for free as well. And you don't need to pay or upgrade to any premium plan, but if you want to get started with over more than a thousand emails and you want to add multiple different users, then it starts at $13 a month. And if you go for yearly plans, you can also get a discount where you can send uh, over 5,000 emails. The standard version has 6,000 emails and five users that you can add. You can create five different audience segmentations as well as a lot of other things like your custom coded template, predictive segmentation, content optimizer, sending time optimizer, dynamic content, and more. Now I'm using the free version and to create a basic automated email, uh, you don't need any kind of premium version. Now to get started, just click on create on the top left. And once you click on create, you will be able to see what you want to get started with creating. So we will click on email over here and you can choose a regular email, a plain text email, or a template. So I like to get started with a template and you can just click on get started over here. And you have a bunch of different layouts as well. If you're not sure about what kind of, you know, email you're looking to create and you just want to have like a basic layout and you want to enter all of your own content, layouts are the best way to go. Then you also have pre-existing themes. So these just help you visualize how your email is going to appear. And these can be a great way for people that are, you know, not very familiar with emailing to get started. Then you have your code your own, so you can import your own code. Now I'm going to get started with a basic layout and you can see there are multiple different layout options as well. So you have, you know, your one column, two column, one and a half column, so on and so forth. So because this is a welcome email that is going to be sent, uh, I will keep it as simple as possible. So uh, what I want to do is I want to maybe continue with a basic one like this one. So I have a one column email and I want it to be normal width. So I'm just selecting the most basic layout possible and we will wait for the layout to be uploaded. So you guys can see this is our layout. Now, first off on the top, you have your logo section. You want to upload your own logo. If you don't have a logo, you can delete this section and just add your own content. So you can just click on delete like this. And then from the right side, you will find multiple different text blocks or any kind of blocks you want to insert. So you can drop this and I will just drop it in the header and then I will just click on it. Once I click on it on the right side, I have the content. So my brand is called Dead End Clothing and this is like what I want in my header. I want it to appear like a title. So first off, what I will do is I will click on over here, click on the styles and I will make it a heading style like this. Then I will change up the font as well because I want it to look a little different than the rest of my email like this. Then you have the size. So you have multiple different font sizes you can select from to make it larger or smaller, however you like, like so. Now, after that, you also have a bunch of other options like you would. So I will make this uh, aligned into the center like so. Now, after that, you can also change color, add, you know, tags and other things as well. But I like it like this. Then on the top, you also have style. So you have your fonts as well. You have the size and color. You can choose to add color as well to your specific header. You also have some basic font style and, you know, alignment options that you can apply to your entire content section. Once you have edited it, just click on save and continue. Now you guys can see this is the bottom block. Now what I will do is I will just click on this and on the right side, I will get the text section. So I will just cut and enter my own text. So I'm just going to enter a few spaces like this. 
and I can change the style of this as well and make it a second heading and then I can change the text as well and then you know below that I have a bunch of different text so uh, I can maybe insert a image so let's say I want to insert an image I would just click on that and I can upload my own images as well so I can click on upload go into my downloads and upload whatever I want so I'm just uploading a image that I want to include in my welcome email just so people get you know a idea of what my brand is about so obviously if the proportions are not going to be exactly perfect so what you want to do is you can just remove it from here you can just click on cut and we will just save and close it like this then you can insert a image block this works a lot better so you can click on browse over here and then select the image it just inserts them in a very easier fashion so however if you want custom sizing options the adding it directly in the text block can be a lot more customizable now uh after that let's say i want to place some text so i want some boxed text above it and then i want to add like this see all the latest trends in fashion and then let's say i want to add like a call to action button so i'm just going to drag and drop it over here and then i will change the button text to say shop now and i want it to link to my web address and then for that i will take my own web address and then i will just insert it so copy and paste it like this save and close so once you've completed the design you will just click on save and exit so this is our welcome template and i will just save it once i have saved my welcome template you can add a lot more things as well you can add things like uh your social media handles your uh, new collection information or, but you don't want to include new collection information because obviously this is a welcome email this is going to get you know be sent throughout time to all of your customers clients whatever it might be so if you do add your new arrivals you want to make sure you update them once you have created your email all you have to do is click on automations on the left once you click on automations you will click on build from scratch on the top right and this will create a automation map and we will name this welcome automation so this is welcome automation and we will just click on choose a starting point now when we are going to choose a starting point you want to just click on signs up so whenever a new customer signs up and you can choose to include in pre-existing imported contacts and then you can add your journey point that is going to be send email and you will just click on over here and you will click on close you can just select the email you want to send schedule design your email and you have your uh, classic builder or the new builder you can just select your pre-existing template that you have or you can just click on save templates we just created the welcome template so i will just be using that i will click on save and return to journey once i've added that you can just click on on the top you have your contact signs up to jane doe inc so you can just double click this and you can click on get more specific on who can enter so if you want any filters or you want no filters at all, if you want a specific segmentation, you can add that as well. But you can also just click on sign up source was admin ad import uh, hosted sign up form. So let's say whenever people go from our sign up form, then I want them to get this welcome email. Otherwise, I don't. I can just click on save starting point. And just like that, you have a basic starting point. You can add multiple starting points as well. And once you do that, you can just click on continue over here. And I'm just going to uh, save this for now. Let it be saved. And because I have already created a few automations, that is why I have to upgrade. But you can create up to four automations even on the free version. So I have a bunch of different journeys set up. And I can just click on my welcome automation, finish my setup. And I will click on send test email. And just like that, a test email will be sent. You can check this out in your own Gmail to see if people are actually receiving the emails and you can check it out uh, and, you know, do some testing to see what it looks like. And that is all you have to do to get started with email automations with MailChimp. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.